It may be a fearsome rivalry on the ice, but tonight two teams came out to play for something greater than themselves. A memorial game between Gross Point South and University Liggett paid tribute to two young Gross Point brothers who died in a house fire last month. Mar McDonald live tonight in Gross Point Woods. A lot of emotion on the ice is, and in the stands as parents uh, and players remembered Logan and Briggs Connolly. Mara. You know, Devin, Logan and Briggs' parents were at the game tonight, and I spoke to their dad off camera, and he asked me that instead of really talking about their loss and everything they've been through, if we would rather show a community that's really coming together. Take a look. Suiting up in the locker room tonight, the boys shed their varsity school jerseys and put on something else. Liggett sporting Briggs Connolly on their backs, Gross Point South with Logan's name. Logan and Briggs died in a house fire on October 29th. The boys, 9 and 11, just loved to play hockey. I think everybody in the community has felt it. Julie's son, Will, played hockey with the Connolly boys. I come to support Briggs and Logan because they were my friends. The children had an easier time explaining why they wanted to be here tonight. Oh, and they loved the jerseys. I think it's pretty awesome how they got to do that. For the parents, I don't think we spoke with one adult who didn't have to take a deep breath and stop themselves from crying. To see the loss of kids is just, I, I can't imagine anything. Um, it's just unmanageable to me as a parent to think of, of losing um, my kids. Forget six degrees of separation. In this community, it's never more than one. These kids on both teams tonight and all the people here as a community is just a little something we can do um, as a sign of love and support to the Conley family. Back here live, I know they felt it. We're live in Gross Point Woods tonight. I'm Mara McDonald, Local 4.